topics, we're going to go over the examination of the ear. First, um, Jason, I'm going to just look at the exterior aspect of the ear, noting any deformities in the pinna or the internal anatomy as I look. I'm also looking for any edema, any swellings, anything like that. Next, I would do a palpation of the ear, the pinna and the tragus, coming along, noting any tenderness. Does any of this hurt you? No. Okay. Sometimes in patients with otitis externa, they can feel tenderness with movement of the ear and palpation. Okay. Next, an internal uh, examination of the ear is done again with the um, otoscope. An ear speculum is taken off the wall, placed on the otoscope as such. The light is already on after I have taken it off the wall. And I can pull the ear up and outwards to make the canal more accessible. And now I come in and slowly enter the ear canal. And I try and go in and visualize as best I can the tympanic membrane. The tympanic membrane should be gray. It should be completely intact. There should be no foreign bodies in the canal. The canal should be clear of cerumen. And uh, the entire tympanic membrane should be visualized. I Another assessment of the hearing is done by using what we call the Weber's and Ryan's test. The Weber's test is done with a tuning fork used at 512 hertz. The tuning fork is slapped on a body part. Jason, I'm just going to put this at the top of your head. You're going to feel a vibration. Now you ask the patient to localize the sound to one side or the other. Does it sound different in your left or right ear, or does it sound the same? It sounds the same. Okay. If there was a localization of the tone from one side to the other, you would note that down.